<laughs> Pisces. Hey. All right, Pisces. Pisces. <laughs> okay, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What is going on? Major Arcana. The world a cycle is over with a cancer. Um, they recognize the truth. Um, oh, you Pisces men are standing up. I don't know what is happening, but you Pisces men have been standing up in your reading. I did a lot, another reading. Um, I did another reading, and you Pisces men was just so standing up in your reading. This is just so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what is coming up. This is a Sagittarian season, Pisces. Your season has just over. You are in a fire energy, fire element of Sagittarian. It begins from March 21st until April 19. I want to say to all of you guys, thank you for returning. Thank you for, um, you know, supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate this. Um, this season reading is about the four um, specific things that is going to be affecting you in your world. Um, so you got to understand um, that... Uh, with every season there is specific things that affects you um, so look out for this you gotta work with this and the weekly reading work with this reading and the weekly readings because you're in the Sagittarian uh, the Aries season and it is from March 21st until April 19 that is uh, the Aries season let's go in and see what is coming up for you um, the Empress the the Empress there is um, some sort of a problem with your mom some sort of a situation with your money could be affecting you some sort of a situation with your wife your mom your wife or your money okay so something is coming up in um, the uh, first week it is a situation to do with your your mom your money or um, your mom your money or your wife okay then we see some sort of a cycle is going to be over in the second week some sort of a cycle is going to be coming to an end all right so you could be getting divorced or separated um then we see this energy of the three of cups in reverse there is no success with a situation a cycle is over and there is no success with a situation that you were dealing with so some of you could have been dealing with some sort of an issue with your wife where um you could be divorcing um uh, yeah you could be divorcing uh, some of you if your wife or mother is a cancer some sort of a problems could be coming up there also um some of you could be divorcing a um capricorn Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Cancer, but th this is more of a if you're in a relationship and married to a Cancer woman, some sort of a cycle is over. Now you men are standing strong in the fourth week, so this is this is really good. This is really positive. You men in the fourth week, you're standing strong. You're looking out. You are ready for some sort of a new start, new beginning. Yes, yes, yes. It is going to be happening. All right, so let's go in your reading. All right, so I see some sort of an ending is coming in for a cancer. Um, okay, so whatever is happening and transpiring, I see um, some of you that was fighting with a Capricorn businesswoman. It's not going to be working out because this person is standing strong in their powers. I see this person is not turning their backs to you. So a lot of you. Pisces, you could be having some sort of a um, problems with your wife, but they're not turning their backs to you. They are um, working the situation out with you. Okay, they're not going to be ending the relationship or the marriage if it's your wife. Okay, I see um, you, Pisces. If it's your mom, I see your mom is going to be helping you to end some sort of a cycle with a cancer. Um, whoever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring I see that some of you could have uh, been in some sort of a marriage relationship but your mom is going to be getting you out of a situation that a cancer have gotten you in okay so um, they're not turning their backs they're actually facing you so if, you know what is happening your wife is going to be supporting you Pisces your wife is going to be supporting you in whatever is going on 
I don't see a huge success, but I see things are going to be uh, cycle is going to be over and a new cycle is going to be beginning. Okay, even though we have a this energy of success is not going to be what you expect it to be. Okay, but um, you're going to be getting over. So it could be a situation where you Pisces get in some sort of a conflict with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. The cycle is going to be over, but I don't see you going to become very close as you was before. Um, they are going to be helping you to get out of the situation, but the relationship will never ever be the same. All right. So if it's your sister or um, a family member, they're going to be helping you out of a situation, but the situation is not the relationship between you and this person is never going to be the same. All right. So you Capri you Pisces women that have created some sort of a problem for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, whether it's your sister, a friend, or a businesswoman or whoever, um, they're going to be ending the cycle. Uh, there is no success between um, you and them. They're going to be helping you out of the situation. But for the rest, um, don't expect that uh, the relationship is going to be the same because it's not going to be the same. So the energy of the Empress is about always about uh, the mother, the wife, your money, the flow, Venus. Okay, it's all about love. Mother, the wife, the money, the flow. Okay, it's always about uh, um, creativity, money. Let's see what the Empress is bringing up. She is not turning her back. Okay, so so it will see. She is in the reverse, but she's facing you guys. It's as if she's not going to be throwing you under the bus. No, she is really definitely facing you guys. Okay, so she's in the reverse. But um, she's in a reverse because uh, um, whatever is transpired, she's not going to turn her back to you. She might be upset. She might go going through a lot of stuff, but she's not going to be turning her back to you. So in the week of the 19th till until the 28th, oh, no, <laughs> the week of the 21st until the 28th, 21st until the 28th, um, what we see is happening is that you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person or um, in business and out of relationship wise and they are looking at you they're not going to be turning their back they're going to be helping you to get through a situation that has been transpired some of you are dealing with your mom and some of you are dealing with your wife some of you are thinking about creative ways in order to create wealth in your world so I see some sort of a tower moment came down in the week of the 21st uh, going in the 28th but whoever this person is it's not tower moment on them they bring down some sort of a tower moment okay because if you notice they're not turning their backs it's not that they turn their backs in a tower moment no 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 they're bringing down an end in something in a corporation institution um that Aliyah has created so some of you pisces uh, I've worked with a Leo to create some sort of a situation in a corporation institution and this woman came in and took it down and that is what is ending a cycle okay so it's, it's as if some of you Pisces had gotten together with a Leo and did some destructiveness against this woman and this woman didn't turn her back this woman was aware of what you and a Leo did in a corporation institution and she didn't turn her back she turned around her face so you can look at her and she said hell I'm bringing this down I'm ending this okay and I'm not turning my back I want you to look at me when I'm doing this because I'm bringing an end to something that you and Leo has done um, to me um, in a corporation institution so you Pisces I don't know who you are um, whatever has transpired but you Pisces have created some sort of a problem for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person this person could be a family member or yes or a friend or a family member and she knew she knew she knew what you have done and what she does uh, she doesn't she doesn't get in an argument with you or anything she just turn around and she just crumble whatever that you created whatever you created in a corporation against her she just took it down she was like no it's not happening 
Pisces, I didn't expect this from you. I do love you, but guess what? I'm taking this down because it's wrong what you have done. So Pisces, there was some sort of a situation, some sort of an issue, something that you have created against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person in a corporation institution. They were aware that you Pisces was the one that have done it, but they had no quarrel, no arguments with you. They just went and a uh, re, um, you know, reorganize their, this situation by um, stepping into um, their powers and going to a corporation institution and ending a situation because uh, some of you Pisces uh, men had gone to a corporation and get data and information for a young Leo. And you gave it this older woman, this older woman, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, older woman information. You went and used her information at a government institution in order to give her data and information to a Leo. And this woman just, no problem. She just, she knew that you did it. And she just went and she just resolved the situation. So I see a tower moment is coming down in a government institute organization for a Leo because a government institution organization have recognized what a Leo has done and that a Leo has old information and data that was for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they know it came from you Pisces they know that you Pisces was the one who went to the uh, this uh, um, whether it was uh, um, the post office or um, wherever it is an institution that you Pisces created some sort of a um, situation for a Leo and use a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person information and it is coming down because this corporation institution recognize that this Leo is not the person and a tower moment is coming down for some of you you're helping out your mother you're going um, to some sort of a government institution organization that your mother was having problems and is going to be helping out your mother and is going to be re um, rebalancing some sort of an issues problem in a government institution for your mother or your wife okay so a huge tower moment the week of 21st 21st of March the 28th of March a huge tower moment in a government institute organization where you um, Pisces could be caught up in and it's because of something that you have done to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this person turn around and let you know I know you did it um, forgiveness is the key but I'm taking it down and I'm ending it all right another powerful energy a cycle is over the world a cycle is over um, a cycle is over and this has to do with um, a Capricorn person this has to do with Saturn okay a cycle is over and you are not successful Pisces you Pisces try to create some sort of a problem issues for a Taurus for a Capricorn person this is really Capricorn because it's a world um, and uh, they're bringing it down okay uh, you know whatever you try to create for a Capricorn person um, they are bringing it to an end and the thing about it is that Pisces you got to recognize you know you work with Neptune but um, Pisces uh, Capricorns work with Saturn all right so you will you know when there's conflicts between a Pisces and a Capricorn you will use uh, um, witchcraft black magic and witchcraft but a Capricorn is going to be turned around and facing you and using the power of Saturn okay so you know that is the thing with with Capricorns they don't hide and do anything they're going to be looking in your face and it's going to be doing it okay because they are ruled by Saturn and you gotta understand the energy of the Saturn um, you know you cross a Capricorn they're going to be taking you down okay and they are not they're doing it subtle but it directly in your face okay because they're ruled by Saturn they can't do anything else you Pisces are going to go behind and it's going to be going to witchcraft black magic and that sort of a thing no 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 um you know when you find a Capricorn that use that sort of a thing is because uh, you know they're weak okay but when you find a Capricorn that is you know upright and 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 you know really upright they do their honorable loyalty 
they you know expect loyalty from you Pisces and they have been loyal and true to you and they knew you you try to create some problems and issues for them and they are going to be using Saturn to bring back discipline and this is what they have done they use Saturn to bring back discipline in corporation and institution and bring in a cycle to an end so that's why this woman okay is just looking at you and recognizing that you know I love you um, but um, I'm going to be making sure of uh, that I'm going to be letting you know you know I am aware that you were the one that created this issue for me in a corporation institution I do love you but I'm ending this and you know peace because I do not want to have anything to do with you anymore you know they're like this okay so I see a cycle is going to be over and a new start is going to be coming in all right a cycle is going to be over a new start is going to be coming in um, I see a whole lot of happiness and joy a lot of you is going to be very very happy with a new offer that is going to be coming in so in the second week the week of the 29th until the 4th of April um, expect some sort of a new offer happiness and joy um, a lot of happiness you're going to be some of you could be starting a job in this week the week of the 29th um, into the uh, to the fort a lot of you could be starting a job a happiness and joy um, some sort of a new celebration at cyclist over and you are happy and you're celebrating getting out of some sort of a problem and you're happily um, celebrating will re being released from some sort of a problem but you know Pisces you had create this problem yourself you had created this problem yourself and some of you Pisces is a Capricorn the same Capricorn that you stab in your back is helping you to get out of some sort of a problem the same Capricorn you stab in their back is helping you to release you from some sort of a problem and getting a new start for you so you know Pisces you got to recognize uh, that whatever is happening um, you know the, someone who you stabbed in the back they really stood up for you and help you to get out of a situation but the relationship will never ever be the same um, some of you they will never speak to you again some of you the relationship would never ever be the same if they used to call come by you have uh, family things uh, um, no it's not going to be the same they're making sure that they help you out of the situation but the relationship would never ever be the same they will never forget what you have done all right so the cycle is over you are happy you're happy that you get out of a situation you're getting a new start but don't expect to be friends with this person anymore because they are like you know move on now because um, I can't even imagine that you did that to me oh they are like move on now I cannot imagine that you did that to me then we see the three of cups and the energy of the three of cups so when we uh, you know receive the energy of the three of cups we are dealing with uh, um, mercury in cancer mercury in cancer so a lot of you a cycle is going to be over some sort of a secrecy mercury in cancer um, communication and it's not about celebration um, some of you are having some sort of an issue some of you um, secrets about a cancer is going to be coming out some of you some sort of a communication some sort of a legal issue with a cancer is going to be coming out people are going to be recognizing what this cancer have done mercury in cancer has to do with secrecy and this secrecy is going to be coming out a cancer could be telling you the secret or you could be finding out the secrets about the cancer so if you are married to a cancer this was what I said to a whole lot of you if you are married to a cancer your mom or a, Cap a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is going to be helping you out of some sort of a um, issues and problem with your wife if it's a cancer um, if it's your mom whatever the problem is and the situation is a lot of you who are married to a cancer there is going to be some sort of a problem and I see the marriage is going to be over 
and I see a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is going to be help you to release yourself from this cancer okay so if you're a woman you were married to a cancer the relationship is going to be end if you are a woman some sort of a secrecy of what a cancer did is going to be coming out an end to the cancer and their family a lot of you could be divorcing a cancer okay here it is a fast end um whatever this cancer and their family think that they have done and got away with it if no their secret is now out and it's in reverse if you recognize it's mercury in cancer some sort of a secrecy of your wife of a sister a brother or something some sort of a secrecy with their family an end is here um, whoever this cancer is and whatever that is transpired whether it's your wife your husband or a sister um, but a hen is here okay could be a divorce between you and a cancer or a divorce is going to be coming up for some of you ladies all right so expect this this is a this is really a situation where this is the mother and the child so this is the wife I did tell you guys that you are going to be having some sort of an issue with your wife where here I see communication secrecy um, the Mars in Cancer is about secrecy coming out about your wife some sort of a secrecy about your wife your kids is coming out and a fast end is coming in for a family a fast end is coming in for a family so you could have a cancer sister and her family a, um, a, a, your cancer wife and your family um, a fast end is going to be coming in some sort of a information that comes out for this cancer and their family is going to be bringing in a huge fast end and people are going to be finding out what a cancer and their family have done all right men mm, 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 mm. all right this is the king of uh, um cups and this is fire of water and you are sitting straight up with your back bam 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 here I am <laughs> so you Pisces men let's see what is coming up for you Pisces men so this is the fourth week the week of the 12 until the 19 oh yeah businessmen Pisces men you're back I did another reading I'm remembering what reading did I do oh oh, oh go oh. go check out your business reading Pisces men I see good things is coming up in business for you Pisces men oh yes all right so Pisces men they're gonna be finding out that you and a Virgo had some sort of a secret um, business contract going on all right so Pisces businessmen they're going to be recognizing your secrets how you create your business and how you are a financial stable okay Pisces businessmen something is coming out about some sort of a secret contract or a secret deal that you Pisces businessmen have and how you acquire your wealth Pisces businessmen they're going to be looking at you and recognizing that you have some sort of a secret as how you acquire your wealth okay however it is Pisces I see that this is coming up so if you are thinking about starting a business creating your own business creating your own materialistic stability it is a yes go for it the week of the 12 going into the 19 is going to be a powerful week It is a yes week business is going to be good but in the week of the 19th in the week of the uh, 12 going into the 19 a lot of you businessmen are going to be creating some sort of a secret contract with a Virgo don't do it do not do it or the secret contract that you Pisces men have with a Virgo is going to be coming out now and they're going to be recognizing that you Pisces men were the one that has created a secret contract together with a Virgo and they're going to be recognizing what you Pisces businessmen have done so you know Pisces businessmen some sort of a secret secret is going to be coming out some sort of a secret contract that you Pisces men have created is going to be coming out all right secrecy of how you make your uh, money is as if you Pisces men whatever is happening and transpire you Pisces men have some sort of a secrecy 
with a Virgo, how you guys make money. And I see truth is going to be coming out. They're going to be recognizing um, that you are connected to a Virgo and you and a Virgo have a lot of secrets. Now, this could be a Virgo business partner that you have. You Pisces men, it is going to be coming out. This, this Virgo could be telling your secrets or they're going to be recognizing that you Pisces men and a Virgo had a whole lot of secrets, business secrets, business information, secrecy, um, and your business partner, they have a lot of secrets and they could be telling your secrets. So, wow. But business is going to be good, whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, yeah, whatever is happening and transpiring, Pisces, business is going to be get good. Don't worry about this, okay? Oh. Don't worry about it. Business is going to be good. It's going to be a very good especially in the week of the 12 12 until the 19 business is going to be good but i see some sort of a business contract some sort of a secret business contract that you um pisces set up it's going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing they're going to be recognizing that um you um you pisces men they're going to be seeing how you create your wealth and how you um, yeah, how you create your wealth. Um, some sort of a secrecy around how you create your wealth is going to be coming in. So they're going to be recognizing what you businessmen have done, okay, and how you create and balance your wealth. So this is going to be coming out. For the rest, Pisces, this is going to be a really positive season for you guys. It looks really, really good. I don't see any problems coming in this is going to be really positive there is no real problem that is going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring um because it's going to be good okay it's going to be good it's going to be uh recognizing and seeing possibilities creating new possibilities for you guys so remember um pisces use the link below here in order to choose crystal one two or three and you are um, going to be looking at how to balance out this season, this airy season. Because remember, your water, Aries is fire. So check out and see how you're going to be balancing out this season by choosing crystal one, two, three, or four. All right. You can only choose one crystal. Use the link below and it will take you to um, the extended of this reading. I do love you guys. So, um, thank you for being here please thumbs up in order for the algorithm to pick up these videos it is a seasonal reading it is wonderful that you guys are aware of what the four things that you're going to be dealing with the four huge issue i do love you guys i gotta go next time